In this video, we're going to add a login page to our website that we've been working on in ASP. So where should we add it? Well, why don't we go ahead and add it to our navigation bar? So we'll add another link here to our navigation bar. So let's go ahead and go to Visual Studio now. And what we want to do first is add the ASP page. And since we've already got our master and content pages all set up, we can just go ahead and add it right to our miscellaneous folder. So what I want you to do is go ahead and right click and copy our contact page and then go ahead and just paste it back into the miscellaneous folder. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and rename this to login. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and just close out this contact.aspx and open up the login.aspx. Now obviously we don't need this content anymore. This was for our contact.aspx page. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Now, what I want you to do is go to the description of this video and go to the paste link where it says HTML needed for this show and go ahead and copy all of the content. And then you're going to come right here inside of our div element and you're going to go ahead and right click and paste. And you might remember this if you took my CSS series. We designed this in the CSS series. So now we're going to actually put this to good use and we're going to go ahead and use this now. So good, we have that set. Now what I want you to do is open up the CSS style sheet and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Now what I want you to do is go back to the description of this video and copy all of the source that I provided for the CSS needed for this show. And then just come right here and you're going to right click and paste and you should now have all the CSS. And you will remember this also. This is the CSS that we used when we designed that form in the CSS series. So this should look very familiar. Good. So now we have the HTML and we have the CSS all set. Now we need to go to our master page. And we're going to come right down here and here's of course our navigation bar. And what we need to do is go ahead now and add the link for our login.aspx page. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this one right here. And then you're just going to change this to login.aspx. And let's just call this very simply login. Okay, so now we should have all of the HTML and CSS that we need. So go ahead and save all in the project. And let's go ahead now and load our page and see what we get. And there's our login button. Let's go ahead and hit that. And I'm glad this actually happened because this is a little weird quirk sometimes in Visual Studio. Now, if you remember the form that we designed in the CSS series, it didn't look like this, of course. We don't have any of the formatting here. We don't have the border or the padding or anything here. And if you see the entire form, you're fine. But if it looks like this, then you're not fine. So you have to follow the steps that I'm about to do here. And again, this is just a strange little quirk in Visual Studio. So go ahead and close this out. And then what I want you to do is exit out of Visual Studio. Now, what I want you to do is go to the website folder, right click on it, hit copy and paste right back onto the desktop. And now you'll have a copy. Now, open Visual Studio back up. And then what I want you to do is go ahead and open up the copy of the folder that we just made. So just go to open. We're going to go to website and we'll go all the way to the bottom here. And here is the copy. So let's open that up. And now we'll go ahead and reload the site. And now we'll hit our login button and take a look at that. The form now loads. I am not sure why this occurs, but anyways, it's a little quirk in Visual Studio. And like I said, if you saw this initially, you were fine. But if you experienced what I experienced, then you need to follow the procedures that I just showed you. Okay, that's part one of the login, but we're not done. We have a lot more to do. And we'll continue on with our login script in the next video. See you guys then.